the deuce. Oh, boy. What's with the lights? Oh, come on. Everybody stop what you're doing. This gigantic, angry machine behind me is the Inspirationator 5000. And like every great Hot Wheels track, it's full of twists and turns, and it's about to throw you for a loop. Oh, no. I don't like this. There it goes. Ah, the car coming down. Yes, not son. Yes. Oh. Ooh. Now that is an awesome Hot Wheels. All right, Dalal, pop quiz. What can you tell us about this car? Oh, man, this is one of my favorites. The Hot Wheels Bad to the Blade is a gravity-defying, futuristic indie car from Hot Wheels design dynamo, Fraser Campbell. Its design represents the fusion of a fighter jet and a dragon, and the aerodynamics create a downforce up top that make it basically stick to the track. We've got a spoiler, a nose cone feature, side air intakes. It lives in the Hot Wheels garage of legends. In order to win this challenge and move on with a key to the finale, your team's gonna have to incorporate at least one element from this design into your ultimate Hot Wheels. <laughs> what? Yeah. We're like we don't have enough designs. Jadeja and Jim, get with your team, make a plan. Good luck, you're gonna need it. You ready? Go! I'm seeing a lot of aero. Let's get a big wing on that boot, creating some real downforce. Put a huge wing, more skirts, more aero, more everything. Yeah, we can take your design and amplify. Right, everything big and sexy. Yeah. I think we can make some sort of wing spats on the side, some wing spats that would go up, that up through here. Cool. I think yeah. that's it. I could knock us up a front splitter. It needs to look good. Let's keep it simple and let's keep it cool. Wow. So how are you guys incorporating some of the elements from Bad to the Blade? We've got a wing over there. Oh, you're going to wing. That, I'm going to wing it. This is just like the warm-up wing. I love it. Everyone's excited about adding a wing to the car. I'm getting like Mad Max meets Tron. That's exactly what's happening. Oh hey, boy, how you doing? Oh it's the judges. Talk to us about the inspiration you took from Bad to the Blade. That Hot Wheels, it was complete opposite design of what we have. It was just all sharp edges. But one thing I did notice is that there was almost like these wings that covered right before the rear tires. So what we thought we'd do is we'd use them to our advantage to put them on the side of the car. We went with subtle touches. Talk to me about the elements you're incorporating from the Hot Wheels Bad to the Blade vehicle on the front of this car. The design of the 69 Charger to me, it is iconic, and I didn't want to touch the front end of the car. So if you're looking at it from the front, it's basically gonna look like a stock original 69 Charger. I'm still waiting to see more of that Hot Wheels element here in the front. She's just putting the pressure on me. That's what this competition is all about. I don't think that the judge is that impressed how I incorporated design from the bad to the blades into our car. But I'm telling you, I know this is gonna to pull together once we get there, we're just not there yet. You guys will not be disappointed. We only have two days left, and the Inspirationator 5000 threw both of these teams for a loop. Yes, the Red Garage has these two amazing wings that they've got on their 09 Camaro. It's very exciting. I'm starting to feel like the Blue Garage isn't taking the twist serious because the elements they've added are kind of minimal. And soon, the super fans will be sent away when the cars get painted and the carpoolers are gonna be totally responsible for getting these builds done and over the finish line. Hello, guys. What's up, what's up? Hello, oh, judges. How are you gonna make it wheel it? Check out this right here. Whoa, 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 whoa. My friend, whoa, whoa. this is Hot Wheels. All right. So we don't just want to make a wheelie, we want to hold the wheelie. Okay. So we got hydraulics over here and where we hit the magic button, Two rams will lift it right up into the sky show hold. Hydraulic rams take fluid that's pressurized to exert force. That ram will take all the weight of the car back onto the tires, and before you know it, the car will start lifting up. I'm very confident that these hydraulics are gonna work. Feel it pretty good. Do you wanna 
see my toy? What is this? I really wanted to incorporate that cyber technical feel into this card. So I decided to code my aunt's affirmations onto the interior. I created a code that mm. says, keep your head up. Whoa. So it serves as like a little reminder every yeah. time you look down. That is dope. So I'm gonna have this laser cutter etch that into this template, and then we're gonna put it inside the car and illuminate it. I've completely programmed this laser cutter to put in my code. Now the magic happens. Yeah. So boom, you have it like this. That's it. Keep your head up. Mm -hmm. Oh, we saw. Yeah, okay. you like it. It's cool, like right? It. <laughs> We interrupt your regularly scheduled programming to bring you this. This is an important term in the Hot Wheels handbook. The cruise is one of Did the most- Did someone say cruise? Oh, hi, Terry Cruz. Actually, it's cruise like C-R-O-O-Z-E. Oh, my bad. Cruise refers to the style of car from the Hot Wheels first editions line. These castings are characterized by long, exaggerated, smoothed out rear ends. Did someone say smoothed out rear ends? This has been the Hot Wheels Handbook. We're running out of time. I have to see if the wheelie works. We gotta test it now. All right, man, I'm going down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. I see the car going up crooked and I'm terrified. And I stop, just stop, because I don't want it to tip over. That was nuts, what's wrong? Yeah, what is the problem? Yeah, I have no idea. Winning this competition is all about that wheelie. So somehow, we're gonna have to make it right for Jim. All right, teams, listen up. You've been at it for almost a week, but guess what, it's time to paint. Judasia and Jim, you have been instrumental in getting the builds to this point, but now it's time to let your carpoolers do their thing and get these builds to the finish line. We won't let you down. Next time we'll see you is at the big reveal. I can't wait. Step three is all about finishing touches. Adding wild colors and decorations before the cars are reassembled. It's the last day of the build, and the carpools have a matter of hours to finish Jim and Jadeja's builds. Uh, there's no lasers. We need lasers. We had to kind of come up with a different idea, putting that strip of lights in the front of the car, which I think is going to look so cool. It's not coming on, and I don't know why. Jadeja could potentially win this $25,000. That puts a lot of pressure on us in order to get this car exactly what it needs to be in order for her to win this. Right, we need to go. The wheelie is everything in this. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out this remote. Hang on. In my mind, it's more important that it does the wheelie. We don't have time for this. That's where I want to put the focus. Looks like we got a little bit of air in the lines. We're going to have to bleed it. Focus, Chris. Come on. OK, five minutes left, people. You heard Terry, five minutes. OK, let's bolt the wheelie bar on. This is going to be tight up this ramp. Yeah, so the first panel goes in all the way first. I got you, man. Yes, that's it. Yeah. It's in, it's in. 60 seconds, AKA one minute left. We got to get this done, baby. I want to see those cars as shiny as my head. No hands on the car, and that's shiny. That's real shiny. Here we go. Three. Come on. Two. Go, go, go. Get the punch clean. One. Ah, that's it. Oh. That's it. Woo. 